Yo, what's up? It's Denzel Whitaker, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hello. And we have Denzel Whitaker in the house. Hey, what's Hello. up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we are diving right into this. Oh, My soul it. to take. It's perfect timing, Scary really. Scary movie. October yeah. right, of being course. Halloween yeah. month. 3D movie with mm -hmm. Wes Craven. Insane. Tell it's us exciting. about it. Well, uh, it's the first project Wes Craven has written and directed in about like five years or so. So it's yeah, it has been a while. It has it? been a while since he's been on the scene. So it's something new. And again, it's his first 3D film. So he's treating this like his baby. And he says he has like some personal ties to it. Apparently, um, the way he sort of concepted the story, just with this guy having multiple personalities, it's it sort of, he spent a lot of time finessing the script. And I mean, it, it of course shows when we did like four reshoots in the middle of filming, we'll get like 10 page scripts where we gotta learn it the next day. Wow. Yeah, it's, um, it, it was a challenge as an actor, but also as Wes for a director, it, it was something new for him. Like a labor of love, though, really, yeah. because it seems yeah. like he really loved the project. Was it your first 3D project also? My first 3D project, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say official, though, is post-converted. Oh, I see. So, oh, we didn't so actually... you didn't have to do anything different while you were acting. Right, it wasn't shot in native 3D. Just had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry. what, I mean, what aspects did they actually bring into 3D? Was it everything? Uh, a little bit. Or it's... was it like the scary moments? It, it's mainly the scary moments. The thing about it, though, when you post-convert for 3D, you have to post-convert everything not just the, the moments that jump out at you because mm -hmm. everybody wants the little moments. If you're gonna put on glasses, you wanna see your whole world Get in the 3D. Full experience. Mm -hmm. Exactly, kind of. you wanna be immersed in it. That's the whole point of the technology. Uh, with that being said though, Wes really wanted to make sure that there weren't any faults with the new technology. It, it's still fairly new. We're still learning. So he wanted to go through every shot and make sure that it was, it looked great to him before he presented it to the studio or anyone else. Now, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie yet, mm -hmm. my soul to take, tell us a little bit about the plot line. Okay. Don't scare us too much, right, though. I'm, right. a, I'm a scaredy cat just over a here. Bit. Just, but just a little bit. I'm just glad I have Jocelyn right <laughs> next to me. <laughs> well, basically, my soul to take is about the River Tin Ripper. Uh, 16 years ago, supposedly, there was this River Tin Ripper, and it was this guy, he was a serial killer who was going around literally killing people. And so one night, this guy discovers a knife uh, his personality sort of trigger and he's kind of wondering what's going on. He's having a WTF moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You yeah. think? Taxi you think? <laughs> uh, and, and it's sort of like his whole world is transforming in front of him. Come to find out he is the Riverton Ripper. And so uh, that night that he's actually murdered, seven souls are released and seven newborns are born that night. And so it's kind of like, are they the souls or are the souls coming back 16 years later to haunt them? And that's sort of how the story sets up. And I'm part of the Riverton Seven, one of the seven ah. I was born that night. See, there are always stories of when people are shooting these scary movies. Exactly. That something weird happens on Creepy set. Creepy happens on set. What was happening on set? Anything? Because you hear the name right. Wes Craven and it's like, for me at least, synonymous with I'm freaked out already. Yeah. Right. Just thinking about it. In, in a good way. Though. See, that's the thing, yeah. though. <laughs> like, when you meet Wes and you actually sit down and talk to him, he's a, a completely different person. He's about as casual as the conversation we're having right now. Like, he'll sit there and talk to you about fishing, life. He he had his, like, Sony snapshot <laughs> on him. Wes. Chill with and us. He had his Why Sony not? snapshot, and he was taking pictures of bugs and caterpillars. It was something bizarre. It's like this really <laughs> kind, gentle guy. Right. Then he's like, all right ready to film. Now, Top I want you to get ends. axed in the scene. <laughs> I want you to get cut open and your blood and guts ripped out. And it's like, where did that come from? You know? Oh, yeah, was there West. any like special makeup going on with like fake blood oh, and all that course. FX stuff? Yeah, there's tons of makeup. I mean, I remember doing a scene four to five hours and it's like the end of the scene, my shirt was just like cardboard because all the blood had dried. Yeah, what is it? Ew. Is it ketchup or? Uh, a I mean, mixture. I think of... that's really amature, right? It's Sorry. a mixture it's of. Some ketchup. What is uh, it? Slap it on your arm. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, what Tabasco is it? Tabasco sauce. What is it? Is it? 
Um, is it healthy to even have on you? It's a mixture of corn syrup and starch and jelly. They like yeah. using jelly too. Strawberry or raspberry. I know, can you pick the flavor right. that you want? Let me just lick my strawberry jelly, put it on my toast and oh, go really? to lunch. Are you so, it, it actually is edible. No. I no? Don't think so, no. Oh. no, not at all. You wouldn't want to, at least, I would Fine. imagine. Fine. Right. Maybe pre chemistry. Rolling around in the dirt and <laughs> being bloody and sitting in a pool of blood. I don't, I don't think I want to eat the jelly. You no, know, I think Dana uh. was kind of hinting at this, but you know, you hear about so often on these horror movie sets. Right, like creepy right. stuff actually happening behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Where it was it was it haunted or anything, anything crazy? I don't think it was on like an exorcist level of haunted, really? but we played a lot of pranks. Ah, such as such as. Okay, well, I know for sure one prank uh, my cast members had pulled on me. I was just chilling in the lounge, uh, just sleeping, kicking back on a couch similar to this and dozing off in the middle of the day, and all of a sudden I wake up, and they made this loud noise, so I wake up, and standing over me is the actual Ripper. <gasps> in all of his oh moss gosh. and costume and dread and his long hair and it's dripping and it's wet, and you're just staring at this creature like, what is going on? Coming right out of a dream, <laughs> that freaked me out. Did you I was, shriek like I was a girl? Done. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, it was like, no what, do, shame. what do you expect? I have no shame at all. This <laughs> literally a monster in front of me. What am I gonna do? Oh my you gosh. Know? What What is it about scary movies that you think makes the viewers like love them? Like you love to hate them, you right. hate to love them. What is it about scary movies? Uncertainty. It's that rush. It's kind of like when you hop Adrenaline, on a roller coaster. Kind of. Exactly, adrenaline junkies, um, but it's in a different sense. It's sort of like it's it's more less adrenaline, more thrill, in a sense. Like less, you're not getting the full effects, but it's something quickly enough to to satisfy you in a way. It's sort of like that quick jump that makes you like, oh, okay. But wait, I'm in my movie theater seat. Okay, I'm calm. I'm cool. You know, what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. cool. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm keeping it cool. Wait, wait. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Well, this movie comes out perfect time for Halloween. Right. Um, do you have any plans? Not Do you plan yet. ahead? Last minute? I am so last minute. I keep it cash. Um, it's like where the party's at for me. Trick or treating's done, so it's kind of like, uh, I just like to have fun on Halloween. It's like any other day, I treat it as a last minute thing and see how it goes. I think you should borrow the costume from a uh, movie. Oh, the Ripper. And the Ripper, Ripper, right. Show up in the Ripper costume. Except I totally freaked Gotta be a little bit taller out. though. He, he was kind of tall. A big guy. Still, that's what they're for. He's intimidating. He's you know? like massive. No big deal. Maybe mm. you guys should give him some comments below and let him know what you think he should dress as. Right. Let me know. Last question. What is your favorite scary movie? Other than My Soul to Dick, of, of course. course. Right. Uh. Um, <laughs> favorite scary movie. And this wasn't too much of a scary movie, but I like the philosophy behind it. 28 Days Later. Oh my gosh. That's the scariest movie. <laughs> do, you have a zombie, <laughs> do you have a zombie apocalypse plan? Like, no. if the zombie apocalypse happens, where are you gonna be? Because I know where I'm gonna be. Zombie where? apocalypse? The so Walmart, if I'm a zombie, I'll come get the you. The Walmart parking lot. Oh. I'll be there. You guys can come meet right. me. I'll take care of you. Um, where will you be? <laughs> where will I be? I am giving a free invitation to my crib because one of the things about my zombie apocalypse crib is that we will board that place up and we have food. Like, honestly, we've For stocked days. up shelves of food. For days. We have so many freezers in the house, it's ridiculous. So it's kind of like... We're gonna be good for gonna a little bit. Set. You'll we're be gonna fine. be set, and then of course we're gonna do one of those strange, crazy scenes where we build up a car and we go run over everything and yeah. search for food, <laughs> and then search for the last gas station just so we can travel across the the nation, seeing who's left. I can't tell you, like seriously, that's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Really? I, I had it. anxiety for two weeks. Okay. For Twenty-eight days a, later. A really, a really scary movie that later. sort of freaked me out uh, was Strangers. Oh, Strangers oh, really that. freaked me out. Yeah, because well, it could really happen. Right. It was kind of like that was the one actual scary movie that was like, okay, this could really happen in my own place, in my own crib, and in some desolate area back in the woods. Yeah. It was. I mean, it could happen stupid. right now. Like we could get a knock on our lounge door, and it could be the strangers. It's a crazy person. Right, but it's uh, <laughs> it's the the three of us against them. You know, we'll be good. Yeah, we've got it. Right. Yeah. We got it. Concerns. We got it. Wow, I am officially freaked out. What about you, Jocelyn? <laughs> Always. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Denzel Whitaker. We're excited about my soul to take. Oh, thank you. It's and super scared great. as we should be. Yeah, scared yes. and excited.
Right. Well, nice. Thank you for joining us today. Of course. Thank this you for having really me. This was really fun, you know? Yeah, it was casual. I like it. Yeah, keeping it cash. Keep it like cash. your Halloween plans. Cash on the couch. Exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis and, of course, Denzel Whitaker. We will see you guys soon. Bye. Later.